Tommy, so the fourth of five games in just over two weeks. Obviously, tough run on the legs, but what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Well, we're looking forward to it. I think on the back of a good performance and result times two this week, or last week, I should say. Um, yeah, there's always a, it's sort of a spring in the step of the players, the staff, the fans, everybody, you know, a week's a long time in football, as we all know. So, we're, yeah, we're looking forward to the, the relatively short trip uh, over to Wheelieston. Obviously, you know, as we say, momentum's good, but are there any, any you know, niggles, knocks coming lying around? I know you don't want to reveal too much, mm. but I, I think it's more a case of players coming back, isn't it, than players we're losing? Yeah, yeah, definitely so. Well, um, obviously, young Oli, Oli had to come off on Saturday with a tightening behind his uh, knee and is unlikely to make the game on uh, Tuesday. But we don't know yet. We, we've got to let things settle down. Same with AJ the day before. It's still, you know, at a stage where... We can't definitively, you know, put time frames on them yet, but we're, we're hopeful that neither will be too long. Um, obviously, the couple of additions who we added last week um, have now had a full week's training with us, um, seen us play. Josh has managed to get on the pitch twice. Roland's edging. So yeah, we got, you know, we've got options. Um, and I think what I would say is I mean, the, the session we've just had there this morning was really intense, a bit like it was on Friday. It was something we've we've moved towards since the Kidderminster game, really, in terms of, you know, focusing more on us, even more than what we had done before. We always give the opposition, you know, all the all the respect we can. Um, but I think sometimes we may be travelled in and given a little bit too much respect and therefore taking a little bit away from our game. Um, so, you know, it'll be we'll be attacking the game as we as we normally do. I'll be trying to do it. It's, Probably as close as we played at home, other than the neighbours the other way. So, um, yeah, we're we're really looking forward to the game. And whether and one thing I will say is, if there is changes or there will be changes, I don't see that as weakening weakening the side. Mm -hmm. Everybody who we have available, not just the five that were on the bench on Saturday, but today, you know, you add into that Tommy, Ollie Bray, Maxi Mullins, you know, there's no there's no weakness there. So from my point of view, I'm, we feel really healthy. And that brings confidence, brings confidence to the manager, certainly. Something that we've had to deal with already this season is our opposition getting a new manager. And, you know, there's always that, that cliche of the new manager bounce isn't there. But, I mean, it get, I guess it presents us problems in the way that, you know, we, we're, we're not entirely sure how they'll set up the team, I guess. Yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, I, would, I will say usually managers go in to clubs when they're, they're not in a great run of form or the, the structure and everything behind the scenes is deemed to be not working. That's probably not the case in this situation, so I can't imagine there being a wholesale change. But new manager will have new ideas, and you've got to respect that. Um, but yeah, you know, it, look what the new bounce did, or the bounce did for the new manager at uh, Kidderminster. They, you know, this time before they played us a couple of weeks ago, they had 18 points, and now they're sitting on a third more. To get a third more points of the season in three games is, is an astonishing turn of form from them. So we don't want to be the the team that uh, gives this one. I mean, like I said, they don't. I, I think they're in decent form themselves. They've got a very much a, a brand of football that they like to play. And like I said, I won't. I wouldn't imagine it'd be too different. But pick the pitch condition or whatever the weather conditions may affect that. But uh, yeah, they'd be looking to turn us over. Haven't we won the first game at our place? A bit like we did with Rochdale on Saturday. Talking of new manager bounce, that's something we saw under yourself last season at Willstone away. It was good memories of of that game, wasn't it? Yeah, it ended up being a really pivotal three points because on the same evening, I remember Torquay, who were in a really good run of form at the time, went to Chesterfield and got dusted aside. So it gave us a real bit of a momentum going into knowing we, we only needed a point in the last two games. So, But the lad who scored that goal is now in their ranks. Um, good player to have. And if he's involved in the game, which he, which he will be, I'm sure if he's fit, somebody you've got to be very mindful of. But they, they've got good players. They, they've got a real good identity, you know, some teams don't want to play much football. Some teams want to play lots of football. And I think they, they get a good balance. As you mentioned briefly just now, we, we have beaten them already this season. So will that provide the lads a bit of confidence? Well, <clears throat> I don't think there's a massive amount of change in either squad since then. Um, but that was then. And this is now. Um, like I said, the form that we're going into this in, you know, people people were getting excited because we lost a couple of games in, in a week. But... One was in the FA Cup, one was in the FA Trophy. We've only lost, lost one of our last five league games. So, you know, I'm, I'm very much at ease at the, the whole picture rather than the, the now and the yesterday sort of result reaction. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do that. Uh, and I think 
we're really we're in a good place, you know. I think I've said this on numerous occasions. I don't know a team that I've been involved with that's had a good FA Cup run, let's say, and not had a little dip afterwards because the emotion of everybody it gets to a point where it, it it's beyond normal for that season and that level that you're playing at because going to the Hawthorns like we did was it was a monumental day it's you know big day people remember that forever um and players are no different to that their emotions are up there and therefore their emotions are really down when they've lost much as not many people would have given us a chip by the five thousand behind the goal would but not many people outside there would have given us a chance but we went there believing we could cause an upset as Midstone did so yeah i think we moved on from the disappointment of that and that that has to be brushed aside as does the result that followed um and we've got to start thinking, if people want to remember about that, I'll quickly remind them about the Bromley and the Rochdale results.